Do you know what Seco, sparkling wine, or other carbonated beverages have in common with biogas? Let's first take a look at how biogas is produced and what it's used for. Wastewater sludge, animal manure, as well as organic residual and waste materials are used as feedstock. Also energy crops such as corn, green rye, millet, and prairie grass. These energy crops absorb carbon dioxide, also called CO2, from the atmosphere and convert it into biomass during photosynthesis with the help of water, minerals, and sunlight. During this natural process, the solar energy is converted into biomass. When the biomass is digested in a biogas plant in the absence of oxygen, biogas is produced. The gas mixture consists of natural carbon dioxide, or bio-CO2, previously extracted from the atmosphere, and renewable natural gas, or RNG, of non-fossil origin, or biomethane. Before these two gas molecules can be used, they have to be purified. To do this, they are separated from each other using innovative sepurin green membrane technology from Ivonic. The membranes are made of a high-performance polymer that is resistant to pressure and temperature. While the CO2 gas molecules are able to pass through the membrane, the RNG, also called biomethane, stays inside the hollow fiber. In this way, the biogas can be separated into high-purity RNG and valuable carbon dioxide of natural origin. And this process is completely cost and energy efficient. Let's now take a closer look at the value stream for the bio-CO2. It can now be stored, transported, and used as a valuable raw material. It can be used in liquefied form in the food and beverage industry and in the sparkling wine mentioned at the beginning of this video or in other carbonated beverages. In liquid form, bio-CO2 also serves as a raw material used in industrial processes. In its gaseous form, it contributes to plant growth in nearby greenhouses. In addition, the bio-CO2 can be used in the process of methanization. CO2 and green hydrogen are used to produce synthetic methane, which can then be used as a green natural gas equivalent. Bio-CO2 is an important component in a sustainable gas economy. For more information, please visit sapurin-green.com.